So I'm here with Ellie Saklatvala, who's the editor of Non-Ferrous Markets at Argus. Ellie, we've had uh, the EU, we've had China, we've had the US all announce plans to move away from diesel vehicles by 2035. Are we really going to be in a position to do that? We are definitely making progress. If you look at the uh, EV production and sales volumes year by year, they do go up. Um, and particularly in the past two years where the auto industry has had so many challenges, the EV side of things has, has bucked that trend and has continued to grow. Uh, but if you line up the numbers, the likely forecasts and projections for where we're going with this, line that up against what we need to achieve climate goals, things like net zero by 2050, um, I think unfortunately we are going to be tens of millions uh, of EVs short of ditching the diesel. We need to look a lot more closely at all the infrastructure around it, from the critical mineral supply chains right through to all the charging points. Uh, and we also need to make sure that we're giving enough support to industry during this current economic climate, uh, dealing with inflation, high energy costs. This is quite a tough environment in which to make such a big change. And it's obviously going to make a huge call on the metal industry to deliver. Is the metal industry supply chain ready for that? Uh, I would say at the moment, outside China, no. I mean, even inside China, they are peddling very fast to ramp up volumes. Um, because there you're looking at a really complex supply chain. You've got the ores, you need to process them. You've got the metals, the chemicals. It is such a complex uh, global system. Um, so we need to think about all of this in a lot more detail. I think if we look at lithium in particular, one of the core battery metals, we know there's going to be a lot more supply coming online globally over the next decade, but uh, we're still probably looking at a structural deficit as we stretch out toward 2032. Um, and of course, products like the rare earths need a huge amount more investment uh, if we're really going to deliver that energy, uh, the energy transition. You mentioned China. There's obviously a significant amount of risk around the reliance on China for these critical minerals. Is enough being done to address that risk? Yeah, I mean, it is great to see critical minerals moving up the political agenda. Um, even just yesterday in the UK, we had the government announce uh, 15 million uh, in support for research for rare earth recycling. Um, so it is moving up the agenda, and to an extent that's making a difference, um, particularly the US Inflation Reduction Act. We're certainly seeing a lot more discussions going on around the world, uh, innovations, new partnerships, ways to reconfigure these supply chains. But this is a really long-term uh, evolution. I mean, for things like rare earths, you're looking at a 20 to 30 year story um, to really pull that supply chain away from China. So yes, we're making progress, but I think it's going to take longer than people think. Thank you.